morning guys today I will be showing you how to downgrade your iPad 4 running the latest iOS 10.3.3 back to iOS 8.4.1 without using any SHSH blobs if you own an iPad 4 running iOS 10.3.3 you know that it's very slow so it is always a good idea to downgrade it back to a lower iOS version so that your iPad 4 could work quite faster than before also as you know that Apple won't easily allow us to downgrade to a lower version of iOS like I have said earlier this method does not require SHSH blobs like the methods I've shown you in my previous videos regarding iOS device downgrades this new method that I'm about to show you is to trick Apple server to think that your iPad 4 is at a lower version than iOS 8 therefore allowing you to do the OTA update or the over-the-air update directly from your iPad 4 so without further ado let's get started the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you jailbreak your iPad 4. If you go to this website, you go to can I jailbreak and here is the list of jailbreak tools that you can choose. So the best one would be this one for jailbreaking your iOS 10.3.3. Also what I forget to show you is my current version of iOS. If you take a look at my iPad screen and look at the version, I am running iOS 10.3.3 so to jailbreak 10.3.3 you have to use a jailbreak tool called Helix this one, I have included the link to download this jailbreak tool in the description below and after you download this you have to use CD Impactor to install the jailbreak tool app into your iPad so I have my jailbreak tool here and I have to use CD Impactor to install it to install through Impactor you have to drag and drop and then you type in your Apple ID and password and just wait for it to install and if you wanted to look at my iPad screen it will have a new app installed just ignore this message and now you can see there's a new app called Helix on my iPad screen again if you try to open it you can't you have to go to settings first and then general you scroll down you see the word device management click on your Apple ID, click trust, trust again and then you go back to the home screen you go to that app again, now you click jailbreak if you start running the jailbreak just click done, just wait for it to finish jailbreaking now my iPad is rebooting now you can see Cedia, you have to open Cedia and you have to wait for it to finish reloading and then you go to sources you click edit at the top click add and you have to add a source I have included this source in the description below it's called repo.ftios.vn and you click add source click return to Cydia now you go to the source here click all packages and there is one package that you need to install it says downgrade from iOS 10.x to iOS 8.4.1 click on that click install click confirm as you can see they say reboot device so you need to reboot your device before you can downgrade to iOS 8.4.1 so just click on reboot device and you have to wait for it to to finish rebooting and now you can see Apple logo just wait for it it might take a while okay it's done rebooting now now I'm on my iPad's home screen if you take a look at my iPad go to settings as you can see it works very slow go still running iOS 10.3.3 you go to about at the top and now you can see the version the version that is running right now is 6.1.3 in fact it's not 6.1.3 we're still running iOS 10.3.3 but we just trick Apple server to think that we are running iOS 6.1.3 so that the Apple server will allow us to update it to iOS 8.4.1 so what you need to do next is you go to general and then by this time you go to software update and you just wait for it to check for the update for you and now it's downloading the iOS 8.4.1 for us usually it does not automatically download it for us like that if 
it doesn't you just click download at the bottom but right now it's downloading for me so it may take a while depending on your internet connection to download iOS 8.4.1 software update just wait for it and as you can see the approximate time that we have to wait is about 18 minutes it may be faster again it depends on your internet connection okay I need to fast forward this process Okay, now the download is almost complete. Okay, now they say the download is complete. Now you need to click on the word install now. Click agree. And as you can see on my iPad, it's verifying update. Now it turns to black screen. It's restoring. Just wait for it. Now you can see the Apple logo. It start restoring. Again, it may take a while for this to restore. So you can go and enjoy a coffee or do something else first. Okay, now the update is done. You take a look at my iPad screen. You say update completed. Just click continue. Okay, now it's done. And if you go to settings, about, you can see the version is 8.4.1 but if you go back to home screen it's black screen why is that happening it looks like your ipad didn't properly install ios 8.4.1 yes it is correct in fact your ipad 4 is now in a safe mode so to install ios 8.4.1 properly into your ipad 4 you need to do one more step you need to go to settings and general and then you scroll down at the bottom you see the word reset click on that and then at the top you see the word erase all content settings click on that one and click erase erase again now after it completely erased everything in your ipad it will restore your ipad to ios 8.4.1 factory settings just wait for it Okay, it's done. Now it's, I just need to set up this real quick. Okay, you can see now your iPad 4 is running iOS 8.4.1 factory settings. If you go to settings here, about, you can see 8.4.1. Now you have successfully downgraded your iPad 4 from iOS 10.3.3 to iOS 8.4.1 successfully. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful video in the future. Have a great day guys. See you with the next video.